Hello, my name is Stephen Alf and welcome back to Alf Books. And today I am here with Lena for a new series on my channel called Booktuber for a Day. So this is a type of video that I've seen done by a French booktuber called Bulldub. I will have a link for her channel down below if you're interested in seeing the French version of this, basically. So tell us a bit about yourself to start with. All right, well, my name is Lena and I have a YouTube channel called Ingenious Blue. And I do a bit of psychology, a bit of mental health, a bit of travel, a bit of bits and pieces. Um, but I haven't done a lot to do with books, so I'm quite excited to be here. <laughs> I think it'll be good. And yeah, I believe you've got cool. some... Got some questions for me. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, to start with, well, what's the book that you have for us today? All right. Well, I couldn't, I don't have a favorite book of all time, but in terms of books that I've read in the past month, this one was an absolute standout. It's called The Vegetarian by Han Kang, and it's been recently translated into English and actually won the Man Booker International Prize for this year, which I thought was an incredible accomplishment. So, this is the one that I want to chat about. So, what is the book about? Basically, it's about a woman who is unloved by her husband, she's unappreciated by her family, she kind of exists as, as nothing. She sort of only ever exists through the perceptions of other people, and the story's never told from her own point of view. And it's the story of how she basically rebels against the people who've put her in this unimportant situation. And she rebels by becoming a vegetarian, and in Korea, where this book is set, Meat is a massive part of the diet, it's part of the culture, and so by becoming a vegetarian, she's actually rejecting her husband, she's rejecting her family, she's rejecting everything. And as the story progresses, it's split into three parts, she actually loses her mind, and in the end, she believes that she is a tree. And this isn't a spoiler, it's written on the back of the book. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I haven't ruined it for you, but it's that transformation of how it happens that is absolutely exceptional and that's what you have to read the book for. Why did you pick this book then rather than say any other book? I think the reason I picked this is because you can read it in an afternoon. You can pick it up, you can read it in one sitting. Despite the fact that it's quite short though, it's a really challenging book. The language is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, it's, quite, it's quite a startling book I found. It's a good one. <laughs> That's cool. You said quick read. Did you read it quickly? Yeah, I read this in a day. Um, as you can see, it's not it's not a massive one. Mm. Um, and one of the things about this is that it was really beautifully translated by Deborah Smith, who had only been learning how to speak Korean for like two or three years when she mm. translated this, which is an exceptional accomplishment. And there is not a single word wasted. There is no, there's nothing that's like flowery or beautiful. It just cuts straight to the point, and it's so unsettling that you kind of, you don't get impatient, you just read the whole thing in one go. What would you say is your favorite part of the story? <sighs> well, see, I don't want to spoil it for anyone <laughs> because I seriously recommend this, but um, in the second part of the story, um, it revolves around her sister's husband, and there's this bizarre scene where he's painting himself and her to make them look like flowers, and it's a little bit, okay, it's very sexual, it's quite creepy, it's really unsettling, mm -hmm. and just the image of it, it's so unlike anything I've read before. Okay. And so I wouldn't say that I particularly loved it, but I was very intrigued by it. Okay. So, on the opposite side, the part that would have you irritated you, annoyed you, or just Irritating not me. been your favourite, basically? Like. I don't think there is a specific bit that really bothered me. I think it's more a matter of it's very unsettling and there are throwbacks and things that are not bad storytelling, they're exceptional storytelling, but what they describe is quite uncomfortable to read. And so it's a bit like, ooh, but it's not necessarily bad storytelling. It's, yeah, yeah cool. I don't know if that's well explained. <laughs> it's, uh, that, definitely, that definitely covers it, yeah. <laughs> Um, what would be your thoughts on the characters? The characters are exceptional. I think they're really believable. I think the transitions they go through are very drastic, but are happening constantly. It's not like from one chapter to the next, it's like, oh, I'm suddenly a new person. You actually see the bits um, in their minds like unraveling and then things changing, and it's constantly shifting, and it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's cool. You said that you really like the writing style already. Yeah. What about the storyline, the way it progresses? One of the really unsettling... I've said unsettling about five times in this I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's my new favourite word. Um, I think that it's split into three pieces, and the story is never told from the perspective of the protagonist. She's only ever observed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 
And so you see all these different elements of her just by what other people notice about her. And it's quite... Yeah. Unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so who would you recommend this book to? Well, no. It's definitely not something um, for a particularly young audience. Um, I think it is sort of a young adult thing. I think I wouldn't have understood it a few years ago. But I think um, sort of like late teens, early adults, this book could have quite a large impact on, because it makes you think, it really makes you think. And is it alright if I just read out one of the reviews on the back? Just to, because yeah, I think this says it really nicely. Um, elegantly translated into bone spare English by Deborah Smith, the vegetarian whispers so clearly it can be heard across the room insistently and with devastating quiet violence. Mm -hmm. And I think that really sort of hits it on the on the head, as they say. Would you have any final words or comments to add about the book in general? Well, I'm just chuffed it's been translated into English. <laughs> the cool thing is, the author, she's actually got a number of other books, and since this has had success um, in the English-speaking world, her other books have now also been translated into English, and I That's cannot wait to get my hands on them. Oh, great. It's very nice having you here. No, well, thank you for very, having me. Very interesting. I will definitely pick it up myself. So, yeah. Excellent. That's cool. Well, thank Great. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all from us. I will see you next week with a new video. I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my name is Steve Off, and welcome back to Off Books. And today we are here for an original tag.